Welcome to this Connect M3 News Bite podcast recorded on 27th November 24. I'm Helen King and my News Bite today is titled To Follow Science or Faith. The question is, if a science is settled, why the need to believe rather than know? The division between people who believe the official climate change narrative and those who doubt it is shown no sign of shrinking. Two things, however, have become increasingly clear in recent times. Taking the second group first, the doubters of man-made climate change. Such people are often referred to not as doubters, but as deniers. Why they're labelled in this way isn't clear, although a clue perhaps lies in statements often made by people in the first group. Such statements suggest not understanding the science, but rather having faith in it. People often say they believe in man-made climate change, And that is my point. They don't say they have assessed the evidence for and against the different reasons for climate change, having first done the same in relation to the existence of climate change, of course. Similarly, they don't say they will assess new, new to them, evidence in the same way. Instead, invariably, commentators claim to believe climate change is happening and that it is caused mainly by human activity. It's not only politicians who cling steadfastly to belief in man-made climate change, That is perhaps to be expected, since scientific understanding isn't a prerequisite for a career in politics. What's far more concerning is that scientists cling to belief too, in a way that suggests it's not so much that science is settled, and more a case that scientists who want to stay in the club would do well to settle on this. If this seems harsh, let's consider what happens when evidence challenges beliefs. Such evidence is ignored as it has been by a scientist and YouTuber Sabine Hostenfelder who has shared in numerous videos that climate science is flawed. Such discoveries ought to require a new assessment of the evidence, but instead Sabine says says she still believes in a climate change narrative. The word believe indicates a stance that is closer to an act of faith and a scientific assessment. It also indicates a stance that is unlikely to be changed by facts, information or evidence. Religion often involves an act of faith, as does spirituality. While some people adopt a particularly religious, a particular religious or spiritual set of beliefs on the basis of evidence, or proof even, many do not. Beliefs of, of a religious or spiritual nature are often based on a feeling and are to some extent and at some level a choice. When it comes to climate change, however, do we need to question why so many people talk about believing in the man-made climate change narrative? This subject is supposed to be scientific. Climate science, after all, is an established branch of study. This narrative, and the narrative about what we need to do to solve a problem explained in the narrative, is far too important to be left to mere belief. The stakes, the future of our planet, humanity and life itself, are far too high to justify turning the world upside down on the basis of faith. The refusal to permit any doubt about the narrative makes the situation even more concerning. Given this attitude that the science is settled, how likely is it that any need for course correction will be recognised, let alone acted on? Viewing belief in a man-made climate change narrative as akin to an act of faith makes it easier to explain the hostility towards and the ridicule of people who don't share the same belief. The belief in man-made climate change is, to most believers, closed to any debate. The belief is also fiercely protected. Any challenges to the narrative, which means any doubt or evidence may threaten the threatened the narrative, are met with a label, climate deniers. The hurling of this label and what is behind it, a steadfast refusal to look again at the evidence, assuming it has been looked at in the first place, would not have been out of place in Salem during the witch trials. Isn't this how cults behave? Thank you for listening to this news by today. I hope it's given you further things to think about on this important subject. For further information on this and related subjects, do check out the PDF version. Reference N for November, B for Bravo, 4485A. It contains a number of links supporting articles, plus links to many other enlightening and fascinating articles on a variety of topics. Meanwhile, I look forward to sharing my next news bite with you very soon.